Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can install Hyperland and Plasma 6 side by side on one system. With this setup you can benefit from both worlds from the latest version of the KDE desktop environment Plasma 6 and the tiling window manager Hyperland based on Wayland. The installation of Hyperland is very easy if you use the Hyperland starter script that you can download from my GitLab repository. With the Hyperland starter script, you can install a Hyperland base configuration, the perfect starting point for your own Hyperland experiments. And the nice thing of this setup is that you can switch between Plasma 6 and Hyperland and back whenever you want. I will also show you how you can install the mylinux4work.files in the version 2.8.2 .2 on top of the Hyperland base configuration. All the links are in the description below. And with that, let's jump in. We are here on the Plasma 6 desktop. Very nice new version from the KDE team, Plasma 6. Very nice desktop environment. But we want to install Hyperland in parallel to Plasma 6, so that you can switch between both environments whenever you want. First, we need to open the browser. Go to my GitLab page because we want to use the Hyperland starter package. You can find the link in the description below. Here is the Hyperland starter. I open this, click on code and copy this link here, clone with HTTPS. Then I open the console of Plasma 6. Now I change into the downloads folder. The folder is empty and I enter git clone, the path to the git repository that you have just copied into your clipboard and press return. It's already done. All the required files have been downloaded. Now let's look into the downloads folder again. And here's the Hyperland starter. And this is the installer that will help you to install a base installation of Hyperland. So you see here already some configuration folder for Alacrity, Dunst, of course, the Hyper folder, Rofi wallpaper, Waybar, and so on and the install.sh script. Let's add, execute that script. And you see here we are now in the Hyperland starter version 2.0. I need to enter my password. And now the system has started to install some required packages and ask now to confirm the installation of the Hyperland core packages. I confirm this with yes, again with Y, and the installation starts. And the installation is already nearly done. And now the script asks to copy the pre-configuration to the .config folder. I confirm this with yes. Then I can choose my keyboard language. In my case, it's DE. And the initial screen resolution, I will choose 1920 to 1080. Plasma is running in a virtual machine. And I can also set some environment variables for Hyperland. And the script, the script has detected that. I confirm with yes, and that's already done. Please reboot your system. OK, let's do this with reboot. I'm here on the Display Manager, SDDM. And let's see if Hyperland is available. Yes, Hyperland is here. I can select Hyperland, enter my password. And we are here on Hyperland in a base configuration with Waybar installed on top with Alacrity as the terminal. So everything is working fine in the right screen resolution. There is also Rofi to start an application. We can start Dolphin as a file manager. We can start the console from Plasma. Also in Windows, so everything is working fine. Let's open the hyperland.conf. 
I cd into the .config folder hyper and then with Wim, for example, the hyper land.conf. And here you see the core co uh, configuration of your Hyperland installation. You see the keyboard layout is already set. The environment variables for the virtual machine are there. We are launching at the beginning Waybar and Hyperpaper. And let's scroll down a bit to the key binding section. Here you see all key bindings. And here is the key binding to exit Hyperland with super key M. And now we are back on SDDM because I want to switch back now to Plasma 6 again. Log in. And now we are back on Plasma 6. So everything is working fine. Let's install now my advanced configuration of Hyperland, my, my Linux for work dot files. To do this, I open again the console, CD into the downloads folder, and I clone my repository of the dot files. All links are available in the description below. Now I'm cloning the latest version of my dot files into the downloads folder. This will take a bit more time. Let's cd into the dot files folder. And here you see my advanced configuration of Hyperland and also a dot install script similar to the Hyperland starter and I execute this. I have to enter my password and I can confirm the installation with yes. First step is to install yay, the AUR helper application. I confirm the installation of yay with yes. Now the scripts ask me to create a backup. I don't need a backup of the .bashrc file. I can skip this step and I install the new packages only. Some of the packages are already installed from the Hyperland starter execution. Now I can select between Hyperland and or Qtile. I will install only Hyperland. Now I can download some wallpapers from my wallpaper repository. I will skip this. I will use the three default wallpapers. I can change the keyboard setup by selecting DE in my case. I can proceed. I install the environments variables for the virtual machine. And now the script asked me to install the prepared dot files. I confirm this with a yes. I overwrite now the GTK configuration that exists because I want to use the my Linux for work GTK setup and the bash IC as well. Then this installation is done. We can reboot the system with reboot. And when I now enter my password, you see the my Linux for world dot files installed successfully. You can change the screen resolution by opening here Hyperland settings script in the welcome app, go to system, monitor and select the screen resolution. Now it looks better. Yeah, and just walk through the welcome app. There are helpful links for you. Access to all settings, possibilities of the dot files are here. You can select another waiver theme, for example, the minimal theme. And if the dot files are installed successfully in the version 2.0, 8.2. From now on, you can update your system directly with the new update dot files feature. Let's do this. Do you want to start the update now? I confirm this with yes. I take the main release. This is the official release of the my Linux for work dot files. I confirm this. The installation starts. Download is complete. I start the update now. Yes, update. 
I can create a backup of the existing system, not needed. The new packages only will be installed. Everything should already be installed. I select again Hyperland as a profile. In this section, Display Manager, I will now install SDDM. So I will force the installation of SDDM and this will also install a theme for SDDM. The system will try to restore existing configurations. I confirm this with start restore and I confirm to start the update and we are done. The system is now up to date. You can see this. When I log in again, I can even set the current wallpaper as a background by clicking on settings, SDDM, set wallpaper, enter my password and now I can log out And SDDM is now using the current wallpaper. And when I want to switch back to Plasma 6, I can do this by selecting Plasma, Wayland, and log in. And I'm back on Plasma. And that's it. Plasma 6 plus Hyperland in a base configuration or in an advanced configuration with the My Linux for Work dot files. I think this is a nice setup to experiment with two desktop worlds, with a desktop environment or a tiling window manager. And with that, see you next time.